Hi guys, my name is Sam and this is an advanced speaking class. Um, we're going to have a debate and conversation about video game violence today. So we'll be speaking a little bit more quickly in this class um, and we'll be talking about our opinions about this subject. Do you guys think that violence in video games promotes violence in real life? What do you think? We'll talk about it. Um, should, I show, should I show a kitty? I have yeah. a kitty on my foot. Okay. Um, it's the black one. Ah. I've got some kittens. I just want to show you guys. <laughs> Look how cute he is. Get him and see so his little. Eyes. He'll say hello. Hello. Hey. <laughs> 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 Isn't he so cute? Hey. Yeah. He approves. He approves violent video games. <laughs> And his brother is sleeping, so I won't pick him up. <laughs> um, isn't he so cute? I know. He's so tight. He's like this big. <laughs> um, so he was on my foot, so I thought I would show, show him to you guys. So, hey, Christoph. Nice to see you. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm fine. Cool. And... Can you approve this message with that style? With the cat? No, no, no. Like, <laughs> my name is Sam, and I approve this message. My name is Samantha, and I approve this message. <laughs> um, I'm very class like that. No. <laughs> and I approve verbling. <laughs> OK. Um, cool. So today we're talking about violence in video games. Um, here's our warm-up question. Oh, that's not it. Sorry. <laughs> I keep doing... Okay. Do you ever play video games? Uh, in my... As far as I'm concerned, I play video games uh, very often. Okay. And I was, I was playing video games like five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I just quit okay. to, to assist one? your uh, your class. Okay. Well, thank you for pulling yourself away from the, from the games for an hour. That's awesome. <laughs> Which game um, were you playing? So how yeah, how often do you play, and which game were you playing? Uh, I play with very varied games. Uh, today I was playing with the football manager game, but I used to play also with uh, role playing games such as mm -hmm. Final Fantasy, The Witcher, mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, how often I play? I think uh, depends on depends on the mood. Uh, sometimes I can play like uh, five hours, six hours a day. Every day for a week, and sometimes I don't play for like two weeks. Depends on the mood and the time I, that I have. Do you ever do a marathon where you just play for like 24 hours? <laughs> no. Uh, no, not for 24 hours. I remember that I, I think one or two day I play like maybe 15 hours or something. But I was young, like 10 years ago. 15 hours. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That probably beats my record. I don't know how, what. I think I played for like ten hours once in the summer when I was sick. But mine is nine. Not. Oh no, mine's worse than yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Cool. So you play a lot of RPGs and um, games like that. Uh, yeah. Freaking. What kind of games do you play? How often? Uh, well, actually, just last year, uh, I lost that uh, feature of me because I, I really love playing video games, but last year I was studying and I couldn't find any chance to play, but and right now I'm free and I can play Far Cry, mostly FPS games because I love shooting people, not in real life. Also, <laughs> I love <laughs> driving cars and sometimes football games. Maybe I can say. And I had some friends. Uh, they were going to internet cafes to play mm -hmm. computer games. The owners of that internet cafe was leaving uh, their places, locking them down under of them while they were just playing. And they were playing for 
uh, 18 hours per day. And I don't know wow. how much <laughs> they paid for it. 18 but hours. It, yeah. <laughs> That's and pretty it's not in their home. Mm -hmm. It's like okay. a basement floor. <laughs> where we, uh, um. Okay, cool. I was just looking at Eric's. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. 18 hours, wow. Um, yeah, I play <laughs> video games too. Um, pretty much almost entirely RPGs, like role-playing games. They're my favorite. Um, Ferkin knows right now I'm playing Lord of the Rings online. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not, in, not in class, but what, Ferkin? What is your level right now? 17. You're... Wow. <laughs> Um, is it like a is it like a m massive multiplayer like uh, yeah, something it's, like Yeah it's actually almost the exact same as WoW as World of Warcraft except it's Lord of the Rings and it's free. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this kind of game actually. Oh no, I love them. <laughs> no, I, I actually what I like I don't like what I don't like in these kind of games is the fact that you know, you know there's no end. It's like you always have to do the same thing, you know, just fighting and, and killing, you know, mobs, and that's all you're doing, like, all the time. The, like, there's no story, you no know, nothing. Like, you this can't beat, like. you can never beat the game, right? Yeah, like, it's I, impossible. yeah, that's what You're I want. It's like the, improving the, your character, that's yeah. the addictive part. Yeah, well, actually, I'm actually more interested in the stories, like, if I, if I play, like, Final Fantasy or The Witcher or games like that, or Fable or whatever, Mm -hmm. uh, there is, you know, a story. There is yeah. something um, um, main quests or something. It's not like just little uh, quests that you have to do like, every day or something. It's it's something really more. Um, I don't know. More interesting. But the same thing is in multiplayer games. When you finish, for example, the FPC games, you will start playing multiplayer, and there is no end. You will kill other people, and you will improve your level and you'll become the best player and when you become the best player you'll try to prove yourself and you don't wanna just live it because you are the best yeah I understand that but the, th the thing is that there is no um, dream you know there's no no like a word that makes me dream there's no suspense or something like that it's it's very repetitive game I see what you're saying and you can have like 20 quests open at the same time rather than kind of one really overarching quest, so it can feel a bit repetitive. Um, hi, Jiro. Jiro. Hello. How hey, are how you? are you? <laughs> Fine. Great. We're um we're talking about video games. So, do you ever play video games? <laughs> no, my no. brother have. Um. I don't like it, video game because <laughs> sometimes I don't have time for mm -hmm. video game. Uh, when I have time, I apply for study and other things. My my brother is like very much video game. Okay, but that's not your thing, right? I'm afraid um, you're surrounded by gamers right now. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, okay, another question. Um, I don't know. If, does anyone here have kids, children? Yeah. Fucking, you don't have kids. <laughs> I have brothers. Yeah. Do we look? Do we look that old? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, do we have younger siblings? Yeah, I do yeah. have. You do, Christoph? Yeah, I have one little sister. How old is she? Twenty-three. Oh, okay. Well, I was gonna say is she allowed to play video games, but if she's twenty-three, <laughs> I think she's she can decide for herself, right? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Um, Firkin, what about your brothers? Fourteen. <laughs> okay, so they are playing video games all day and. You know, there's LAN connection and there are three different computers in one house. So, well, they have all the options. They're just downloading new games and playing multiplayer with each other. Sometimes they call me to play and I join their team. But other, in other sense, they're having fun. They're modifying game by some modifications on the internet. Okay. Do they play violent games? Like, do they play FPS games or 
Well, it's hard to find an FPS game with low requirement settings, so they are mostly playing strategy games. Yeah, FPS games. It's about family without shooting. <laughs> okay, so your does your mom let the like? D does she have any say in in it, or My do they? My mom play GTA with us. No, <laughs> G GTA is Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto is kind of a, a quite violent, um, lots of swearing, um, probably not very kid friendly. I'm pretty sure it's rated M. Your mom <laughs> played with you? That's so cool. But I, I see her. I said, Mom, this is a car simulation game. I'm probably you want to learn how to drive a car without having a car. She said, Okay. And I. Uh, gave the game to her, so she started driving the car, but she realized that she was killing people in the meantime. Okay. <laughs> um, Gyro, I'm going to go to you for... Is it Jairo? How do you pronounce your name? <laughs> uh, Erel, Erel, I have a class, uh, another Erel? teacher, Sergi. Your name is very hard because I never see... Because I never see before Gyro. <laughs> it sounds like a J though, Gyro, like that. Gyro. 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 <laughs> okay, yeah. cool. Um, so, do you think that the most popular video games contain violence? Do you think the most popular games are violent with guns and stuff, or what do you think? Uh, some of them because he uh. He's uh, there are some things uh, like uh, they go in long house in my country when you, for each people in not to have a computer in house they go to long house uh, to uh, rent a computer for one hours two hours and they play. <laughs> Uh, video game. You some of them is more. Uh, I think so. The more part or the video game you uh, play. <laughs> uh, what? What the question? Uh, just, Do you think that a lot of video games are violent, like lots of guns and blood, or? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. I maybe my. Uh, most part uh, of the people, if you search for video game, they look uh, only for <laughs> violence. It's mm -hmm. gun. If, uh, they have gun uh, for <laughs> for play. Okay. What do you think? Um, okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Christoph, what did you want to add about what's interesting about the topic? Uh, I noticed that uh, for the last four or five years, actually, um, most of the games that you're, you hear about on TV or uh, you know on the, on the media are kind of uh, shot, uh, I don't know how to say in French, like, you know, games with uh, guns and uh, yeah. stuff like, uh, you know, like um, Co Call of Duty or Battlefield, Battlefield and all these kinds okay. of things. It's all about you have to kill someone. It's it's you're very violent, very, like, war, like, uh, vampires, like, this kind of thing. It's very dark, very, you know, like, post-apocalyptic uh, world. It's all games like this. It's, it's I don't know, it's, I think it's, um, it's a pity for me because... Before, like 10 or 10, 15 years ago, video games were a bit more creative, more um, original, you know. It was not like all games are the same thing. It's what all games were, each games were different. If you, if you look at like, Final Fantasy or uh, Eternal Sonata or games like that, for example. Yeah, if you go back like, like 10, 15 years. Yeah, it's like a, it was like before a universe, a hero, something with a story, with you know. And now it's more like commercial. It's all about what interests people, which is basically the same. Like dull, even in the movie, actually, it's the same thing at the cinema, like uh, post-apocalyptic zombie and all that stuff. It's, it's all the same. Yeah, that whole zombie post-apocalyptic world thing has been going on for like five years or, or longer. It's just 
everything now seems to be based on that in pop culture. Books, too. Books, movies, games. Yeah, for sure. Um, Firkin, what do you think? Do you agree? God's blood or God's blood. Wow. What Just the about question? the whole zombie trend. Do you think that video games uh, were I don't like less zombie violent? games because you know they're violent. Of course, you are killing people. But there's something that many people didn't notice. Uh, yeah, you are killing people, but there's not much blood or just like exploding or something like that. Like there's no gross stuff in most uh, video games. Of course, you are shooting people; they're drop dead, but. Uh, you know, you can't see that much blood or something like that because they know children are playing those games, mm -hmm. and they wouldn't and they won't like and appreciate those stuff. And their parents uh, will, and um, if they notice that, like when you throw a grenade, probably in real life, it won't just disappear. But in most of the video games, they just disappear, and you can't see any gross images or graphic. And about scenario, well, they have really great scenarios, better than most movies. I can't say just, it's not like just shooting people and finishing the task and save the princess. It's different. Okay. Um, okay, we've got, I typed, do, I don't think it showed up. I tried to type a topic, but it didn't work. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this class. This is the live. That's Paulino. <laughs> Paulino is teaching his beginner Spanish class. I just heard it. Um, okay, let, just give me one second. I'm just going to type something here. Not working. I, my chat's not working. Um, so I wanted to say, violent video games have a very harmful effect on children and contribute to the increase in violence in our society. Agree or disagree? Uh, I see in my charter, violence, violence in video gaming have very help, harmful effect over the, on children. Mm -hmm. Contribute to increase. I correct. You agree? Here it is. I'll put it up on the screen. Yes, I agree. That's correct. Okay, and uh, why? Why do you think it's true? Do you think there's some proof, or what do you think the problem is? Uh, because it how in fact there are. Many uh, children or oh, um, assassinated for, for gun because there are many children. They have a mind is uh, good, but when you uh, find this game, they learn it. Mm -hmm. Most then. Uh, learning it's uh, uh, it's her how we use the gun how right. it's the defense of the the police mm -hmm. and how to practice uh, assault for a gun how uh, uh, danger uh, make danger another press or dangerous? Society. Dangerous? Dan dangerous, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I live in Brazil, uh, in Rio de Janeiro, because mm -hmm. it, uh, most parts, when you, now I now go to my house because <laughs> I acquire my computer, I stay in my home, base, but when you go to my house, there are so many children. There is this so many children uh, gaming play only uh, gaming violence. Mm -hmm. if, they only uh, play. They only play violent games. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, they just are. Uh, they. They are the reason why, because there are many uh, children 
é, envolve um criminal uh, in the many ghetto ou favela. Um, many children involved in crime? Is that what you said? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. Involved, mm -hmm. involved in crime. Mm, mm, mm. Drug is, um, and do you think that children are involved in crime because they play video games or like it it, it contributes because they play games that have to do with drugs uh, and guns or no, not really? Not really. Uh, some of them because they only um, game is uh, sometimes it's good. I know one person. They become fluent in English uh, by the game, but <laughs> now they uh, they play game. It's make only most part the video game. It's make for violence. Uh, yeah. Uh, or zombies uh, like Chris Hoffman, zombies, <laughs> violence, war. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Most uh, mm -hmm. war. Yes. yes. Yeah. But the are video game in may 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 or oh might I say may may teacher a teacher learn something or or someone you may learn by the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um okay, Christoph, what do you think? Do you think that it's uh what what is our original topic? I'll put it up on the board again. Um, violent video games have a very harmful effect on children and contribute to the increase in violence in our society. True or false? Um, I would say it's true, but it's a bit exaggerated for me. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> uh, I think there's some uh, isolated cases that shows um, people that are involved in, in violence uh, because of video games. I, for example, I remember I think it was two or three years ago, uh, some guy in the USA uh, at school just killed a lot of people with a gun just because he wanted to do like in the video game. But it's not like the majority of, uh, of crimes, I mean, it's not the main reason of crimes or something or violence, uh, I think. It's it's more like a few, a few uh, cases sometimes. Um, but what I really believe is that um, some games, especially games like uh, GTA, uh, gives uh, some bad notions, bad uh, ideas to uh, to the students in, in high school uh, because um, it doesn't really show the reality. It, it's it's make them feel like, oh yeah, I can I can uh, rape someone I, easily. I can kill whatever I want. I can steal a car. It's like nothing. You know, it's it makes the crime. Um, like yeah, nothing. you can say like, it. Um, you can say it normalizes crime. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. That's what the word I was, I was looking for. It normalizes crimes. So that uh, this is the yeah, that's a really good me. point. So it's not just kids. I mean, teenagers are really easily affected, right? Yeah. Teenagers, everything that they see and read and hear. You're at such an age where things affect you so easily and so dramatically that playing games like that it makes you feel. Or it makes teenagers feel like that's what the real world is like, right? People are really going out and just shooting and stealing cars. Yeah. Especially then, at this age, actually, because uh, when you're a teenager, your body is changing, your mind is changing, yeah. you're discovering the world, and it's, it's a, a moment, a period of the life that you are uh, very uh, influen influencing. Influen easily influenced. In easily influenced. So it's it's really not the best moment uh, of the life to, to play uh, things like GTA or something. Yeah, good. Yeah, good point. Um, Firkin, what do you think? I don't think it's true because I was a teenager and I played a lot of video games uh, from GTA to Assassin's Creed, and they all include violence. But when I get to the street, get out of the home, I was like. Mm, of course it's not possible, it's real life, it's different than the game and it must be the same for many people, many of my friends. None of them has stolen any car because of uh, playing GTA or none of them killed anyone because they killed people in Call of Duty and the guy who killed uh, children in school uh, 
that guy was having some mental issues, who was already a deranged person. So it depends on the situation, I think. Okay. Okay. Um, where are we at? I was going to add to kind of the discussion. Do you think um, it depends, like how easily a child is influenced? Do you think that depends a little bit on how they were raised, or no? Exactly. Broken. Okay. So, can you oh, expand? Sorry, can you repeat the question, please? Sure. Um, do you think that children are more easily or less easily influenced by video games, depending on how they were raised, on how their parents raised them? Do you think that affects how easily they're influenced by things that they see and read, or no? Uh, I think uh, children uh, will be looking for a, a child, will be looking for a role model for to develop his personality and his character, and if the character in the video game or in the movie is more impactful or more influential than his father or his parents or his brother, probably uh, he will be taken as an example to that character and that will influence it badly to that kid. So uh, the parents should uh, take care of their, chi their children and uh, they have to give the culture of, maybe I shouldn't say culture, but uh, the values or the principles that they have to follow in their lives. Otherwise, there are a lot of stuff they shouldn't be following. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Gyro, what do you think? Do you see the question up on my screen? Yeah, it's a uh, question. Do you think the children are more or less... More or less children are more or less easily influenced by violence if you're going to depend on how how they were raised raised by their parents. Uh, yes um, because oh I I think in community because there are many middle class or oh, Middle class, they are children influenced by the parents. They are uh, they are children. It's a teacher by the parents in the house. A uh, uh, study or look for professional career. Not only when he starting starting school. But uh, mm -hmm. the parents, by uh, we go teach you what to really, what to you do, right? For for her, mm -hmm. because uh, choose a doctor or maybe engineer. Uh, it when you guided by the parents, uh, what to really, what do you do? What they do, it's good, but they are children. It's very uh, not mm, important or left alone. Mm. They look for something or want to uh, something which they want. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's great. It's it's correct. Um, but uh, they mm -hmm. uh, they are kids. It's uh, occur uh, only on the mirror. I think I don't know if you I write it, mm -hmm. but I I see it for this money. Okay, okay, good. Um, so the parents kind of help to help the child develop like a moral code, right? Parents help the children develop their morals, know what's right and wrong, and that can kind of contribute to how easily they're influenced by things, I think. Um, okay, Christoph, what do you think? Do you agree with that? Uh, I partly agree with that, but I think it's not 
only the parents that uh, decide uh, this because I think schools, sc school and, uh, and even the society in general have a very big um, a role in this uh, domain. I mean, uh, if you think about it, uh, a child spends, I think, maybe 60% of his time at school. Actually, so um, he's more uh, he's more talking to, to teachers than to his parents. Actually, yeah. So I think that the number one uh, influential uh, person for the for the kids would be the, the teachers. I think. Okay, and what the teachers are showing them, right, in school. Um. I think it depends on the countries and the cultures. Probably uh, in my country, actually, they are um, kind of. Uh, I'm, I'm quite disappointed by uh, the educational system uh, in my country in France mm -hmm. um, they normalize some bad things I think uh, and they, they talk like for example uh, in, if you go to history class they talk all the time about the Second World War and these kind of things they, uh, mm -hmm. they show you pictures about you know soldiers kill and that kind of things mm -hmm. obviously if you if you hear all the time about war, about violence, about these kind of things, you don't really learn history or something, you, don't, you just learn uh, the, bad, the bad things, but they rarely speak about nice, thing, nice things, and uh, talking about video games, there's nothing related to that in, in, in school, in France, they, they don't have uh, any explanation, like, be careful about video games or something like that, they don't really uh, talk about this, which, which is in my opinion, um, something bad. Okay. Um, good point. I have something to kind of follow up about the history thing. So, it's hard to say that they shouldn't be teaching them about war history, but do you think it has something to do with the graphics that they show them? And, I don't know. because I think they, could, they should present it in another way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would agree with that. Especially depending on the age, right? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. I remember actually um, in Canada, I, I remember seeing, um, I remember that we saw some pretty pretty graphic images when I was in grade 8. So I would have been, I guess, 13. What 12 is grade 13. 8? 13, um, yeah. Grade 8, so like 12 or 13 years old. And mm -hmm. we were doing something to do with the war that we were studying and we were supposed to pretend we were writing a letter to a to a family member in the trenches during World War II. And they were showing us some some pretty graphic images to like give us some ideas. And this kind of makes me think about that. Um, I remember wondering at the time, like, oh, this is, oh, I've never seen anything like this before. Because I wasn't really allowed to watch violent things when I was growing up. So um, yeah, I would agree with that. I think they could present it in a different way. They don't have to show certain things. I don't know. Fergan, what do you think? We were, we were talking about, um, here is, I don't know if you were here for the question, but this is what I was asking. Oh, you already answered this, didn't you? Yeah. Um, okay, let's take a look at another one. So, this is kind of switching gears a little bit here, but um, let's argue kind of for or against this. It's the responsibility of parents, not lawmakers, to decide which video games their children can play. Therefore, there should be no laws restricting the sale or rental of violent video games <laughs> to minors. Sorry about who is buying game from stores. Everyone is downloading it. Oh, come <laughs> on. People still buy games, I think. Um, Furkan, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I bought this one. <laughs> uh. Okay, if you guys want, I've got a whole stack. Of, actually, here, I'm going to show you something. One second. <laughs> Wow, are they all games? Are you a collector or something or a hoarder? I think for can you just a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's outrageous. I think. Okay. I don't have, those just, are my games. just to clarify, those are not mine. They're not mine. <laughs> Oh. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> I'm at someone else's house, so but um, yeah, people definitely still buy them. I think because 
There's some sort of locks, aren't there, where when you download games for PS3 or Xbox, they... Well, there's Steam that you can download games for every platform. Mm -hmm. No one wants to go to a shop and buy... Okay, so let's imagine... <laughs> let's imagine that everybody is still buying video games. But this is related to that. Because okay. the age is changing, uh, you can, they can't even uh, you know, control the market. When you go to a website, they ask you for your age, and you can just say, I'm, uh, I was born in 1990, 1990, even though you're not. You can just show yourself older than 18. And you can Don't they ask them. for identification? No. They well, never they ask for them. You ever... if, you wanna, if you need to pay to download the game, they ask you for a credit card or something. Yeah. You know, obviously, you can't have a credit card if you're like 10 years old. I mean, it's... Yeah, you can just ask your father for that, and he can just give him. Or steal it from your parents. Yeah, but if you ask your father, then your father is responsible for what he pays to you. And that's yeah. the question is asking. If, it, is it, if it's the responsibility of parents or not lawmakers. Lawmakers cannot uh, intrude on that. It's totally depend on, the, on your parents. So the idea, the idea here is that right now there's a rating system on video games, right? Yeah. Some games are rated M for mature. Some games are rated E for everyone. Oh, there's a rating system. So this question is kind of saying we shouldn't bother with this rating system and video games should be available to everyone and the parents should be responsible for whether or not their kids get their but hands. But waiting system is good. Otherwise, how could we know without playing if that game is wild or not? Mm -hmm. So maybe there should still be a rating system, but it shouldn't have any legality attached to it? Is there any legality attached to it? There is. Um, I told You know that I worked at HMV, right? Yeah. So HMV sells music, movies, video games, and other stuff. Um, I worked there for a couple years, and we, I sold a lot of video games. And we were told when someone looked younger than... It's like when you're selling cigarettes. We were supposed to... If they looked 25 or younger, we were supposed to ID them. For, they weren't, we, I wasn't supposed to sell video games that were rated M for mature to kids. Wasn't if, supposed to, but you did, right? Not, no, because if, if you did and the parents came back and were like, why did you sell this to my child? Then, <laughs> well, yeah, it does not exist in France. Maybe in yeah, Canada. Yeah, it's <laughs> actually a law in Canada. We're not allowed. Um, so it's there like are Arkham laws in some countries. They don't have that in France, Christophe? No, we don't have something like this. I mean... I, I I saw uh, many times like uh, when I was at supermarket I I saw like a kid he should have been maybe twelve years old or ten years old or something and he was buying things like GTA and he was paying on his, on on himself I mean just alone with no parents no nothing just like go to the supermarket and buy the thing and that's it I mean nobody told anything to him when I was twelve <laughs> I asked my father to download GTA and he did. Oh, <laughs> I played, I played like the first him, right? I played. <laughs> no, he knew what, what, what it was. He just didn't play it. I remember I got the first, the very first uh, GTA. It was uh, in 1998 or something. I was like 10 years old or 11 years old or something. And I was playing to it, and there's no problem with that. I mean, it was pretty easy to, for me to, to, to have it. Mm hmm. Um, I think also a lot of the laws in Europe are a lot more lenient for certain things than they are in North America. Things like, um, what do you know what the smoking age is in France? I don't remember. We don't have age. There so isn't an age. There's no law about smoking. You can smoke if you're ten, 12 years yeah, old. Yeah, I know. And then drinking, what about drinking? Uh, drinking is uh, 18. 18. So in Canada, drinking is 19. That's not so bad. In America, it's 21. Smoking is 19. Um, you have to be 18 to buy a lottery ticket. Um, you have to be, I think, 16 to buy a video game that's rated mature, right? So we've got some, we've got a lot of age laws, um, but it's not the same in every country. So, yeah, I don't know. It's an interesting kind of question. Let's look at another one. Um, okay, let's look at our discussion questions. Do you think, I'll zoom in here so you guys can see it.
Your document looks like the uh, CAE exam or something. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's just uh, you can actually download the document. It's attached to the class materials <laughs> if you want it, but it's just kind of a guide for us. Okay. Um, so children's TV programs, comic books, and movies often contain violence. Do you think that violent video games have any different impact on children than these other forms of entertainment? Do you think it's all the same? What do you think? No, it's definitely not the same. Okay, how so? Because video games is something that you... It's like a world that you emerge yourself for a long period. I mean, it's... If you watch a TV program, it's like, what, one, two hours. But if you play video game like GTA or like, uh, I don't know... Uh, uh, Final Fantasy is like hundreds of hours that you, you're emerged of the thing, so it, it's not the same in fact, definitely, because you don't spend the same amount of time. Okay, so you're, um, you would say you're immersing yourself in it. Yeah. Immerse, yeah, okay, so it feels maybe more realistic, like you're actually a part of the world sort of thing? Something like that, yes. And but more time, really, you're spending more time. More yeah, but you also see more image of. Uh, well, first of all, you're you're the actor actually of the story. Like in GTA, you are the actor. You kill. You decide. Like mm -hmm. in, in comics, comic books, or in a, in a TV, you just a, you're just a um, spectator. So th there's not. Uh, it's not the same um, approach, I think. But also the, there's the fact that uh, in, in as I said, you spend more time, so you see more pictures, more violence, more. Uh, like in a longer, longer period, so your brain is a bit more um, uh, in influenced or touched by uh, by what you're seeing. Okay. Um, do you guys agree with that? Do you disagree? Uh, maybe, um, Gyro, what do you think? Do you agree that video games have a different effect on kids than other types of media, books, movies? Uh. <laughs> Can you put it in the screen? <laughs> yeah, sure. Let me pull the question up again. Okay, and you can um, you can read it for the question out loud if you want to. Here it is. And to this review program, come book. Uh. And no, because uh. uh in my country, uh, there is there is no uh, program on TV to offer movie. If you, as uh, as I said before, if you have if you want to video game, you you contain violence. Do you buy or? Or rent or or uh, go to the house or download your computer. But on TV, I think you no. Know, uh, uh, which we call a channel open. I don't think I don't know express it exactly. Uh, but the video game or cartoon, uh, it's not uh, contain uh, violence. But only if you uh, only uh, choose uh, what you want to play. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Good. Um, Birkin, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? What do you think about this? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, for me, TV programs are more impactful, not to, but movies because there are more strong characters, and it's uh, of course uh, you know you can control the world in a video game, and you can spend more time in it, but uh, by looking at the character development, uh, I think. Movies would be more effect, impactful for me. You think movies more so than video games? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because there will be, you know, uh, I said it already, but there are strong characters. Like, you can say, I really like this guy, I really like this actor. And 
uh, you can agree on that and you can even follow that what it is doing in, in your normal life you can even try to imitate the sound <laughs> even when they say don't try this at home. <laughs> yeah, especially when they stay. Don't try especially because it's like a dare, right? <laughs> yeah. Do you think the yeah, fact that you are the actor of a video game can affect your your? Yeah, but brain? you're not a character. Like, there's no such uh, specific th thing that you can uh, do or imitate in your normal life, because a character. What about GTA? GTA is a very realistic game. I mean, you, you just yeah, make... Realistic, you know, but there's no real human characters. The, all of those are just... Oh, yeah, that's really graphics. Good. You know, for example, uh, you can... Maybe you can notice the nuances of a uh, human actions, but there are something that you can... After, for example, just being, even doing this all the time might affect... <laughs> at least affect me, I can notice the differences. Hey, they're pretty close, though. Some video games have some pretty killer graphics now. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Think yeah. I, don't think, I don't think the, the quality of the graphics uh, have very an impact, a uh, real impact uh, on the brain. I mean, compared to the fact that you are the actor, you decide the story, and you take the decision to kill or not someone or whatever. I mean, I think there is a moment that in, your, in, in the game, some, especially teenagers, uh, which are really influential, uh, in, easy influenced, as we said before. I think there's a moment, uh, th there's a, a certain um, a limit they can uh, afford. I mean, their brain, if they are too much emerged uh, in in the game, sometimes they just um, mix reality and the video games. I mean, it has been proved, uh, and and some sometime you can see things like pe uh, students killing. Uh, uh, st other students at school or something, speci especially in the U.S. Mm -hmm. But I think oh, it's course. because you, uh, I think it's because in a video game you are the actor and you decide the story. And I'm saying you are the actor, but when you close the game, you don't think about that game. But when you watch a movie after that, or maybe after hours, you will think about that. I I know I have some friends, and even mine and I. <laughs> How under the influence of the character in that movie, for example, I have friends uh, that watch Godfather and they try to imitate his voice, his actions. Like, <laughs> I, I'm not going to try to imitate it, but I think movies are more impactful. Okay, those so are think, real human. You think? Yeah. Um, how do I? You think watching the characters and kind of relating to a character is more impactful than? acting out. Yeah, what? because when you're acting out, you're not trying to influence... Nothing is influencing you because you're doing the act. You know, hmm. you can't oh, I totally disagree, for <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I also totally disagree with that. <laughs> but that's okay, that's why we're here, right? <laughs> like, I actually, like, complete. I completely agree with Christoph in this case. I think that it would be more, it seems like it would be more influential to actually be in the shoes of the person who is doing these things. You're in the shoes, you're making the decision, and then it's more likely that you would take that experience to your real life and try to recreate that experience in real life rather than copying or mimicking things that you see on so TV. Have you ever seen anyone who played that game and that uh, in the real life? No, but the the examples that Christoph is offering are some of the shootings where um, I don't uh, know if it's actually those people are psychotic. Yeah, you can watch American History and American X or American Psycho. If you go to YouTube, you can see a lot of videos of uh, of people and, and teenagers, especially that are just you know take the the thing the the how do you call this one the, the keyboard mm -hmm. and smash it down and then broke the screen or something just because they have been shot or or, so, or just because they have been killed in the video game you know, they just lost their mind it's totally crazy I even I even saw one video there's a guy who throw an uh, who throw his yeah. computer on his window he throw mm -hmm. the computer through the window can you, I mean just because yeah. of game you can't. Wait, you don't see you something see, like this at the cinema. <laughs> you can see the same thing when a character, a very popular character in a TV series is died, like Game of Thrones. <laughs> uh, in, in the Red Wings <laughs> episode, the character Yeah, but it's not it, it's crying on children. They start crying. Yeah, they, but it's not with teenagers and children. I mean, it's more... more. And they even adults. Yeah. So. Hey, Gyro. 
<laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> Are you? Uh, have you been following along our little um, discussion here? Yes, uh, because there is. I don't know uh, uh, anything about the video game. <laughs> okay. But I comprehend what you say. Uh, mm -hmm. The question. Uh, as a matter of fact, it uh, belongs our our study to mm -hmm. acquire fluency English. It's uh, uh, it's interesting for us uh, this discussion. Uh, anything about the uh, game is maybe. Uh, I think it on in which in another uh, in another class you may discuss about football because mm -hmm. I don't know any word very much for football gaming. Um, you can you can choose <laughs> a topic for. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Actually, I have a, I have another question. Um, yes. Here's another question for us. So, do you think that the video game industry has any interest in protecting children from the harmful effects of watching violent or adult sexual images? Do you think that it's in the best interest of the industry to protect children? Uh, uh, there's kind of there's a few ways this could go, I think. Do you know what I mean when I'm saying, is it in the best interest of the industry? Like, is it good for them? Is it good for the video game industry to protect children? I think that's a hard question. Yeah, it is. I would say that it depends the way you look at it. Because, mm -hmm. in a sense, it could be good for them in, in if you consider the fact that they might have problems in terms of images, uh, in terms of you know, reputation, if they don't make any effort or something to protect children, if they don't uh, make, if they don't put any uh, label or something saying that this game is violent or whatever, uh, and then uh, the parents discover the game is re is actually violent, so they will say, oh, this company is not really uh, honest or something. But in another sense, I think it would be bad for them as well because. It can be a, a reason to buy, especially nowadays. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of my friends buy a game actually because there's zombie, because there's uh, you know violence and stuff. If there's no zombie the, in the game, they don't buy it. So actually, it depends the way you <laughs> you, you approach the, the thing. Uh, those games are called FPS, first-person shooter. How can you just remove that? Like we that. you cannot do that. There has to be violence, but you know, as I told you before, ah, uh, okay. Birkin, you sound like a robot. Okay, how is now? Yeah, that was good. You, do you hear me? Okay, I said that uh, those I games are actually, called FPS. I'm gonna turn down so my it. bandwidth and here. What? Is it okay. me or you? Sorry, go ahead. Wow, <laughs> it's like a black screen now. Uh, I think I it's me. You, so can I turn on my video? I think it's I think it's the server, but I personally hear hear you guys very well. So saying that first person shooters are called first yeah first person shooters they have to be killing, you know you have to shoot someone in order to uh, complete a task. You cannot just like. Oh, there are killings. We can we have to protect our children from first person shooters because this is the industry. People are buying a lot of copies of Yeah, but it's not only FPS. If you, if you take a game like for example Hitman, it's not about it's not really an, F, an FPS. It's more about, you know, strategy yeah, how know. the way you kill it, you know? Yeah, I know like you think about games like I don't know, um, The Witcher for that example. That it's totally different. Remove the, uh, you know, killing there won't be a violence. Nobody wants to play that game. Can you imagine that? Yeah, but if you, if you take if you take a game like Mario, 
You, yeah, you, 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 you know, you kill the turtles and stuff, but it's not <laughs> violent, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not yeah, you're still kill. jumping on those turtles' heads. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I, I think it's, it the violence is not the fact that you kill the violence, it's the fact that you see blood, that you use weapons, okay, and, you know, the way you do it. I said it. In most of the FPS games, you cannot see blood so many times. Like, when you kill people, they're just dropping down. They're not, like, blood uh, splatting all around the place. It's not like that, or they're not exploding. It's different. Okay. I didn't know that. I don't really play a lot of... FPS. Yeah. So what are you going to say? <laughs> Me? I'm just yeah. pondering. <laughs> um, I don't think it, I don't know if it really matters if there's a lot of blood or not. I mean, either yeah, way. Yeah, it matters. Because I, I I remember when I was playing a different game, mm -hmm. and you know when you were killing people, it was gross, and I was like, oh, that's disturbing, and I just closed the game. I didn't open it again. But you're afraid of horror movies. <laughs> Poor Firkin. Uh, but, like, my point is, um, I don't know if it really makes a difference if there's blood or not for most children. I mean, even if it's, if you're killing someone and there's no blood, it's, you're still killing someone, right? It's different. <laughs> what about the adult uh, scene? <laughs> you are killing dwarves in RPG games. Isn't it the same? <laughs> and you're even killing with a sword is more gross than just the weapon. You're just shooting at it, but you're killing with magic, like burning them down. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I don't know, because in air, in role playing game, you're not necessarily killing humans. You're more killing like you know goblins and trolls and stuff like that. It's That's really mad. So it's not like you're killing a human. You know, it's. Different. Like GTA is, I mean, GTA is a really good example of, of what I would consider a really influential video game because it's real life, it's real people, right? Um, Especially the fact that you you can you can uh, uh, drive a car over some people, you know, you can kill whoever you want. It's like <laughs> not the same as running through the forest to kill all the goblins. Like it's not quite. <laughs> 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 what about what about the, the um, um, uh, how how was it said in the in the question um, about adult um, you know uh, adult scene uh, what do you, what was it I think I lost I exited the question by accident but the question was um, is it in the best interest of the industry the video game industry to mm -hmm. prevent violent <coughs> video games from getting to kids. So is it yeah, good but it, it, for yeah, but there's children? not only violence. There was another point. It was not and about violence. And sexual imagery. Yeah, sexual. Yeah, sexual image. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you played The Witcher, but in um, The Witcher, a little bit. Yeah, Actually, well, I really like that game. If you remember, there's some there's some part of the game that you can have sex with another character of the. Of the hey, game. or The Sims. Have you guys played The Sims? Yeah. Yeah, yeah The Sims as well. That's supposed to be such a kid-friendly game, The Sims. Yeah. And you can put them in like a hot tub together until it, you know. <laughs> you can, and it's supposed I didn't to be. know that. It's true. You can, yeah. Yeah, but actually, actually, they have, you know, they're hiding the. They do. The beauty, they blur. Yeah. They blur it out. Yeah, um, but not not in The Witcher. In The Witcher, you can see everything actually. Really? Okay. Yeah, but uh, in 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 the in the um, packaging, it's written. Uh, uh, sexual, uh, yeah, whatever. sexual, whatever. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's said so, but I think okay. it's it's. I would say that the, you need everything, every different types of thing to make a world. I mean, you can't say like n no violence or no sexual, or no nothing in every game. It's not possible. You need like games for adults, games for kids, games for you know different type. Of, but the problem is more about. Uh, the fact that you can uh, you can say actually a, a kid, a ten years old kid, is in some countries, especially in France, is able and allowed to buy uh, games, games that like contain that. sexuals and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, hi, Med. Hi, <laughs> Med. Hi, guys. You you're a little bit late. Uh, we're almost finished. <laughs> but oh. were you were you watching? Yeah, yeah, I was. Yeah. Do you have anything you'd like to share about this topic? What do you, What's your opinion? Yeah, I want to say that there is a system called the Piggy system for video games. 
and now societies and for, especially for video games they're restructuring chains and others for uh, and avoiding them from buying games such as Far Cry or The Witcher. Hey there, welcome mm -hmm. to class. We are your English. Mm, can, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, we can hear okay. you. So, if we really respect the system, I think that we will not have any problem with video games. Okay. So, as long as people respect the rating system, right? Yeah. So, yeah. we have a rating system in place, but people just... But put yourself in the shoes of a 10-year-old that just wants to play a game. You're not going to look at the rating if you're 10, right? You're just going to grab the game. <laughs> so... I think the problem is that the parents need to be more involved, maybe, with the rating system. But if you're buying a video game from a store, you can't just buy any type of games, any kind of games. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're a teen and you want to buy some games, you have some letters and some numbers in the in the in the package of the games. Right. So not any any kind of. Guys can be can buy any kind of games. Yeah. Well, it depends so, on the country. Because in France, actually, we can uh, a kid, a ten years old kid, can, can buy uh, a game that is written uh, that is said mature or contains violence or whatever. I'll tell you something. I'm living now. I'm actually, actually I'm living in Morocco, mm -hmm. and we don't even buy games. We just download torrents. <laughs> because we don't have any said, said everyone <laughs> just downloads the games anyways. <laughs> yeah. So that's a whole another issue, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, fun class, guys. That was fun. Um, I love talking about video games, so every once in a while I have this same class. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm glad you guys came. That was fun. Um, I'll, I'm teaching at the same time tomorrow for a couple hours, so hopefully I'll see you guys then. Uh, I think I gave you, yeah, there's all my links, so come hang out with me, ask me questions. Um, yeah, thanks for coming. It was fun. Hopefully Thanks, see you. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.